Welcome to Scott Slasher World. This week I have three new Sega Genesis games I'll be showing off. I got a bunch of movie pickups to show off and I got three new retro action figures. First up this week is Booger Man, a pick and flick adventure on the Sega Genesis. If you had jalapenos and beans for every meal, you'd have an atomic butt blast too. Booger Man for Sega Genesis. Hey, boogers aren't his only weapon. Wasn't me. I got this one from Welcome Back Collectibles and I was super thrilled to finally pick this up and add it to the collection. Does come with the booklet uh, this game is super 90s. I mean, it had everything you wanted. It had uh, boogers and farts and crude humor. Very reminiscent of kids and teenagers in the early 90s. Um, but I love the, the back of the box here says, two thumbs up to the knuckle. Uh, Booger Man is such a cool little thing. So you can pick and flick and burp and fart your way to the finish line on this one. Love Booger Man. I think it's pretty funny that him and Earthworm Jim are like arch nemesis. Uh, but yes, Booger Man, highly recommend. I can't wait to get further as I am now on like the second level of this. And speaking of Earthworm Jim, I picked up Earthworm Jim, the complete series on DVD. Uh, I was looking for a place to stream this. It was nowhere online. Was, I don't think it was even on YouTube when I searched. So I just went to Amazon, found this for only $15, so I picked it up, um, and I have started to watch the show. I don't really remember watching the show as a kid, but uh, really cool to have it now. Uh, disc one is in the DVD player, or Blu-ray player. And I look forward to uh, watching all these. Earthworm Jim is voiced by the same guy, uh, Dan Castellaneta, who voices Homer Simpson. And speaking of the tick, I picked up the tick on Sega Genesis. I got this cartridge at Computer Wiz, and if you stick around in the, the video, I'll show this closer up because uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's just the cartridge, but uh, really, really glad to add this to the collection. I love the tick, um, and uh, it's, it's sort of a mediocre platformer. Uh, it's kind of repetitive, but it has the tick. Plus, Arthur is in it. You can. You can uh, activate Arthur with a special move and he comes down and kind of wipes out all the uh, enemies on stage. But uh, yeah, cool to add the tick to my ever-growing Sega Genesis collection. <laughs> Next up on the Sega Genesis is The Incredible Hulk. Look at that beautiful artwork on this case. I love it. Uh, very, very cool game. It's quite difficult. Um, I do enjoy the fact that once the Hulk gets so damaged that he turns back into Bruce Banner and you've got like one more shot, like if an enemy hits you, you're immediately dead. There is the uh, cartridge. Really excited. I love any kind of Marvel game, uh, even if it's bad. This is not a bad game. This is a really fun game. Definitely recommend this one. Next up on VHS is Fred Olin Ray's Alien Dead. You know, I've never actually watched this movie. Uh, I love Fred Olin Ray. I think this is Fred Olin Ray's first film. I could be wrong about that. This is a really cool 1985 Academy Home Entertainment release. I look forward to putting this one in the player. I also got Reflections of Murder this week. Uh, my wife picked this up for me at a Goodwill and I have never heard of Reflections of Murder. I really am kind of digging this box art, and I look forward to watching this one. The next film I'll be showing off this week was given to me by my mom, and this is Avengers Age of Ultron on Blu-ray. Really fun flick, and uh, one of the coolest aspects is the red case. The next game I'll be showing off this week is for the PlayStation 3, and it's Sims 3. This one was given to me by my buddy Tom Reiser, and I have never played Sims 3 for the PlayStation 3. 
So I guess I need to break out my PS3 and throw it in. That's all for this week in front of the camera. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show off the three new retro action figures that I got. Plus, I got a couple more movies that I didn't show in front of the camera. And I'm going to do a recap of everything just so you can see it a little bit better. As always, help me grow this channel by liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you never miss a video. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. So I'm gonna show off my three new retro action figures off first. All three of these came from 80s Toys of Princeton. First up is Kid Vid from Burger King. Look how cool this little guy is. I really dig this figure. Next up we have Kwame. Kwame is from Captain Planet and the Planeteers. This will go really well with my growing Captain Planet uh, collection. Love Kwame. He was voiced by LeVar Burton in the series. And my last action figure this week is Skeletor from the New Adventures of He-Man. A very interesting Skeletor. I, I dig him. Um, I, I would have to say New Adventures is probably my least favorite uh, Masters of the Universe property, but still good, you know? It's, it's not bad. Uh, a lot of fans of it, uh, a lot of haters, but a lot of fans. Really dig the look of the Skeletor figure. Um, next up is The Incredible Hulk on DVD. My mom got this for me. She also got me Paul on DVD. And then I'm gonna do a little recap here. So The Tick. This is The Tick on Sega Genesis. This was from Computer Wiz. We've got The Sims 3. This one came from Tom Reiser. Thank you, Tom. This one came from my mom. This is Avengers Age of Ultron. Thank you, mom. This one came from my wife, Reflections of Murder. Thank you, Kate. That is really cool. Look at that back, that's cool. Uh, this one I got at Pension Pennies in Hinton when uh, me and my mom went to go watch the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie at the Ritz. Love the new TMNT. Very fun. They This time the turtles are definitely teenagers. They're voiced by kids. I, I dug it. I think uh, little kids are really, really going to like it. Um, and I think old fans will enjoy it, man. It was really fun. Really cool movie. Let's we'll stick with that green theme as that's the Incredible Hulk. Very, very cool. And then we have Booger Man. Love this, love this game. Gosh, that, I love the cover. The cover is so cool. Here's the booklet. Inside the booklet we have your, his, your bosses. Here's his power-ups and here's his move set you can do your super fart or your super burp you got your loogie your flick your burp your push your jump <laughs> and uh, even how it comes with a uh, introduction story which is really really funny I highly recommend this game it's super super fun and the last one this week is the nemesis of booger man earthworm jim groovy Super, super cool cartoon. I do uh, own Earthworm Jim on Sega Genesis, but I don't own Earthworm Jim 2, so I'm gonna be looking out for that one. That's that's my next big purchase, I believe, will be Earthworm Jim 2. So, as always, guys, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and share the video. Let's, let's grow this channel.